This video is on penetration testing. White hat hackers have owner's permission to assess security. A pen tester is an individual authorized by an owner to hack into a system to perform penetration testing in the context of ethical hacking. There are 10 terms you need to know for penetration testing for Security Plus 601 exam. The first three are known environment, unknown environment, and partially known environment. You can call it the white box, black box, and gray box. Known environment or white box means that pen tester knows everything there is to know about the system and the target. Internal security teams or security audit teams perform this kind of penetration testing in order to carry out an audit. Unknown environment or black box means that the pen tester does blind or double blind testing. This indicates that the pen tester has no prior knowledge of the system or of the target. Next, we got the partially known environment or gray box, which means that the pen tester have a partial understanding of the organization's network. Next, we have rules of engagement. It's just rules and regulations the penetration tester has to follow. The rule of engagement includes everything to include time window, when the pen test will occur and when will it finish, what methods will be used to communicate, actions if sensitive information is disclosed during the test, guidelines to ensure it doesn't harm the environment, who is permitted and up to what extent, what legal concerns, and so forth. Next is lateral movement. It's just when hackers move from one system to another with the same privileges. However, the user may have access to additional features that the other users do not, like going from marketing user to a sales user. This is a horizontal movement. Then we have privilege escalation, which is a vertical movement. This is when an unauthorized user go up vertically to gain full access. Going from a user to an admin, for example. Then we have persistence. This is when attacker creates some sort of backdoor to ensure system can continually be accessed even after the attack is blocked. Even if the attacker gets cut off on one connection, they have to ensure there's another way back in in order to get the data and conduct further attacks. Then we have cleanup. During the engagement, testers should document any changes they make to the systems. This is to ensure they revisit that documentation and completely remove all traces of their work like removing rootkits, backdoors, shells, and so forth. A checklist is necessary to make sure everything's checked back off. Next, we have Bug Bounty. This is a crowdsourcing initiative that rewards individuals for discovering and reporting software bugs. It allows for testing web platforms by simulating attacks to detect and fix vulnerabilities. It basically relies on independent hackers and pay them per vulnerability. Lastly, we have Pivoting. Pivot is a method that allows an attacker or penetration tester to move or flow across a network. It is the act of using compromise system to spread between different computer systems once inside the network, which simulates the behavior of a real attacker.